There's no excuse. Surely, you know, and again, you guys all last week were mad at me because um, I I wouldn't turn on Shuli. Well, this week, guess what? Shuli fucked up. That event was embarrassing. And you can claim it as a win all you want, Shuli. And by the way, in many ways, it was. Shuli said they sold 360 tickets. So if you sold 360 tickets, like, by all means, it is a success. It was run like shit. It sounds like the talent weren't liaised with. It sounds like nobody knew what was going on. Uh, an hour of the show had to be laid, be delayed because of sound. Nobody knew the running order. Nobody communicated with the comics of who they needed to introduce next or, or how the show was supposed to run down. It, it was a disaster. It was a disaster. I love the people who are like, like Melton could put together an event. It's like Melton. I mean, you know, I'm not saying I'm putting, putting on skank fest by myself. Do you think that the parties involved wouldn't be communicated with? Do you think people would be getting on airplanes without knowing where they're sleeping that night? It sounds like, you know, people paid extra for an autograph poster that didn't exist. Nobody got a poster because there were no posters. Sounds like some people paid $15 extra for a meet and greet VIP thing when turns out anybody could just walk up to anybody there and, and meet and greet with them as if they were a VIP. Some people paid for be better seating areas. That, that didn't exist. You could kind of just go wherever you wanted. I heard, I heard a guy on the podcast yesterday, like, there was no one there doing security. There was no one there working. So it was literally just hundreds of men walking around. Anything could have popped off at any minute. It was people wandering around clueless. I heard literally by the time the stand-up show started, half the people had left. Coupled with the fact that this seems to all have been devised around Perry Caravello to sell tickets. Sounds like Perry sold the most tickets. Everybody was really there to see Perry. But, like, every indication of this is that it was a fucking logistical, executional nightmare. The tech side of it, the planning side of it, the logistical side of it, the fact that this thing was all held in a bright room with... You know, it's decorated like a banquet hall for a wedding, for a reception. Flowing white curtains and sashes everywhere. And the full lights on in the venue, the whole show. You know, have you ever seen that before? A stage not just lit up and the rest of the room dark? That's how a show works. No, no, no. Why even try? Let's just turn all the fluorescent lights on inside of a wedding venue and good enough. So, surely, from a, what I understand, has been just very defensive and spinning this as a success. It's a, it's an embarrassing one. Look, I, I believe people had fun. I believe the show went off. It, it, it was, it was sketchy. It was rough. The show was rough. You know, I've heard two or three people's assessment of it, and no one, like, loved the stand-up show. It's just the Patrick, you don't get it when you do a podcast about Stuttering John. The fact that you could... Oh, fuck, I lost it. Uh, the fact that you could get even five people to show up as a massive W. Yeah, but I, again... I think they sold the tickets based on Perry, not not based on Shuli. Apparently, there were a lot of people there who didn't even know what Uncle Rico was, confused. Shuli could care less about all that Melton. Shuli got paid, and that's a success. Dummies will always show up. Maybe. 
Patrick Shuley claims to not know how many people asked for refunds, sold 300 tickets, refunded 200. How do you know that? How do you know that? It was only 20. From what I heard, it was 25, 30, and 40 were the ticket tiers. So, again, you all seem to know a lot about it, but not really. Um, but, you know, I'm sure. How can it not be a success? What with it being at Soul Joel's? The biggest entertainment comedy production company on the East Coast. Can you imagine? Can you imagine saying that sentence out loud? Um, they sold half the tickets before Perry was there. Yeah, I believe that. I believe they sold. Look, I believe they sold 100 tickets before Perry was announced. I believe they sold 400 after he was announced. Okay. And then not even everybody showed. And then half the people left before the main event. It was 20 and 40. Well, then what about the 30 tier? With the poster, the VIP seating. So it definitely was three tiers. Nobody seems to know 